Good evening. Today we're going reindeer sledding. Are you excited, Mum? Very excited. I'm going to take a nap. Oh, yeah. You, you, wanted to, you said you wanted to take a nap. Okay. I thought we'd leave a bit earlier just in case we get lost because it's a different meeting point. But yeah, she's looking forward to reindeer sledding. Also a little bit terrified, but it should be interesting. I brought my Christmas hat just for this. You know, we're going to do this holiday during Christmas and we had to change our plans. So it's, uh, it's, it's good that I brought this along. I look like uh, a brown Santa Claus, yes. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. I hope it's good and I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. <laughs> nice and lively. I mentioned a couple of days ago, it was perfect. Like it was nice and snowy, not slippery, not icy yet. Now we got the slippery, icy part of it, which is not nice. Before it's nice, this not so much, but some parts of it obviously are not icy yet. But this road, yeah, this road, uh, I need some work. <laughs> Mum told me because uh, she came to England escaping the Sri Lankan civil war and she came to England in 1990 yeah. and you yeah. saw snow for the first time ever. Yeah. You didn't know what snow was, you had no idea what snow was. She saw snow for the first time ever in England when she got here in 1990. And you got here first, right? You and auntie got here first. Yeah. And then my yeah. grandparents got here after, they came separately because they couldn't get, get in one. <laughs> we almost slipped. We couldn't get there together. Sorry, I say we, I was born in England five years later. And she says like, this slippery little thing here, it reminds her of the first time seeing snow, right? Yeah. Very similar to this, right? Yeah. <laughs> Except over here, it's a lot more constant than it is in England, uh, where it's mainly in winter, but... But yeah. good clothes and you would fall down. I've, I've triggered memories though for you. Yeah. <laughs> you liked it but also didn't like the slippery part, basically. No, I didn't. But I did like you like the... the actual snow? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it must have been crazy not knowing what snow is and then seeing that. But yeah, now we know what it is and there's not enough of it in London. So we both come here for some more of it. <laughs> we just saw a guy on a quad bike drive down here. Fair enough. That's a good transportation in this weather. So this is the Pucker base camp. We'll be here tomorrow for another tour, but instead we booked it through them, but they also do tours that they don't do themselves. They partner with other tour companies to like, you know, um, cooperate together to, you know, to cover every tour, as many tours as possible. So there's a couple of tour operators they've partnered with on our tours that we're doing, including today's one. Um, it's a different tour company. I can't remember what it's called. I can look it up right now, actually. Tromso Arctic Reindeer. Okay, I can, I can get used to that name so we're trying to look for the meeting point for them <laughs> i mean that should be the one we're doing but i don't know if that's the company <laughs> <laughs> yes okay then, yes. I, then I don't have to drink my <laughs> i mean if we want to have fun and go faster you can <laughs> around the corner there it was meant to be in front of the pub robbery pub right here <laughs> i learned what robbery was on a previous tour so i'm just like okay I find a pub looks like Robua and it was right here. They said in front of that hotel, in front of Radisson Blue, next to Radisson Blue and in front of this. So we found a place. <laughs> so that's good. We're just waiting to go now. Ski You've never seen a ski ride? You've never gone skiing? Yeah, no, I know. Mom's rushing because she wants to hit a seat. I'm just like, it's a ticket bus this time, Mom. Hi. Happy now? I'm very happy. It's almost empty, the coach. There's people coming, but she was so eager to get in first. We're going to get a seat, Mom. It's all right. It's not a small van like last time. I know there's more people, <laughs> but we're okay. But yeah, we can relax. You don't have to worry about where to sit on the rain there either. <laughs> on, on the sled. Because it'll be just me and you, right? There's, I think it's two per sled. I think, I think so. Oh. Yeah. So we'll find out. <laughs> Volvo this time, instead of a Mercedes van. Both very good vehicles. <laughs> Sit on them. I feel 
feeling like I'm in Vikings, a TV show. We're in like a triangle, you can't see it properly, but there's a triangular um, pyramid type hut. You saw it in last clip to be fair, but sitting around a fire. <laughs> Don't say hello. Oh. Don't say hello. Hello. Can you see me? I can see you, it's just only just. <laughs> Call of Duty. Oh, Mom is very cold. Very cold. It is very cold out here. She was right to run for the bus, by the way. There were a few couples that got separated, they couldn't find the seat. So you were right about that. Yeah. I was laughing, but like, I was like, Mom, why are you rushing? But she was right to rush. Yes, At this farm, there were 350 reindeer. They each eat two kilograms a day, and the farmers can't afford that. So, luckily, there's a lot of tourists that come here to help fund that. So, it's pretty cool. Are you excited? Really excited. She's looking forward to it. <laughs> kind of worried. They won't get it right. We'll get it right. There's reindeers apparently hiding. They're trying to get them over here. There's like 300 of them hiding somewhere because of the weather. But, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's going to be fun. This. Um, Apparently it's safe to video, so, but they can like jump start, so I gotta hold my phone tightly. The reindeers are back. Okay. Oh. So whenever you wanna see them, they are There's also reindeer feeding as well. You gotta keep your distance because they could hit your dancers. You can't touch them because they get aggressive. You can only touch them potentially when they're eating under the chin, but I don't know if anyone wanna do that to be honest, but you might do it after sledding. Mom is a little bit terrified right now because this thing is right next to her. Why is he squatting? What's going on? Three of us here, ready for the ride. You ready, mate? You ready? Are you Rudolph? Are you not Rudolph? I don't know. This was good. Tom's ready for something else. I don't know what's going to see what he's ready for. He's looking at me. I say he, that's probably a she because she has stirs the antlers. That's a definitely a he. Maybe he's protecting her. But that could be correct. Thought I'd get the front camera on this. I'm just happy to be next to one, bro. I don't need to touch one now. I'm good. We will share. <laughs> just hold my hold my arm, mom. Wrap your arm around my arm. There you go. My word. So you can't see both sides, guys. I don't have a 360 camera. I want to get the rain there. <laughs> Can we give her a name? Yeah. Lucy. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> my mum knows something. She, she's, she drives her crazy, but if I have a daughter one day, I'm going to call her Lucy. That's, that's the name I have already set down for a potential daughter. For a son, uh, the mother can choose. <laughs> They're like, normally, it's, yeah, normally it's, is it a boy or a girl? Now it's going to be with me in the future. Is it a boy or a Lucy? <laughs> okay, we can't see the reindeer or us in the front in this camera, so apologies for that. You okay, mum? <laughs> I should have done the GoPro for this to be honest, but it's fine. At least it's not snowing heavily, so the iPhone's not getting through a different camera. Is it right behind you, Mum? Huh? <laughs> she's not even looking at it because <laughs> she's that terrified. This is actually not as cold as I thought, you know. I thought this would be really cold because they're sitting on like we're sitting on a wooden thing. We got we got a new day, basically. We're sitting on some fur, but like the fur doesn't stretch past our knees. But it doesn't feel that cold. Does it feel cold to you? Yeah. It doesn't feel cold. Okay. This feels less cold than standing in the snow. <laughs> we're not doing anything, we're just sitting there. 
they're doing all the work and the guy at the front does it but shout out to the og whoever that is at the front that man so he's pulling yeah and then the reindeer are walking with him so they'll, they'll be listening to him Is the shepherd there because they're uh, obedient animals? <laughs> There's more in there down there, but I don't think this car is picking up on it. I don't think the GoPro would be able to be fair, but the GoPro is just gonna hit record. Could have used the Canon camera though, that, that is a crazy zoom. I did bring that along. See, I can't I can't zoom out too far. Yeah, I don't want to see it's a bit, a bit inappropriate. You see it's coming? Just don't like scare it, just don't touch it. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I wish the iPhone was better at capturing things, oh. but the water's right there. There's nothing in the background. There's lights there. This guy likes us. We made a new friend. Yeah. My mum was saying, like, on the first tour we did on a boat, we made some American friends. Uh, everyone was friendly, but it was a small group, six people, you know. My mum said this morning's tour was fun, but not the same vibe, you know. We didn't really make many friends aside from a tour guide. Uh, but look here, we've made a friend. <laughs> I don't know why you're scared of him, he's not friendly. You are the one next door, who's next to you. I, I am the Asian Santa Claus. We, I mean, hopefully we see the lights tomorrow, but even if we don't, this, this will be unforgettable. I'll never forget this. You're never going to forget this, yeah? Huh? You're never going to forget this. Forget this day. I'm forget this. my whole life. I will remember that I've been here. My life. It's an amazing thing to do. I wish I could record from my eyes. Can you imagine that sort of technology? Well, you'd see so much cool things, bro. If they have it, I'll, I'll be a trialist. <laughs> Hopefully nothing bad and side effects. It will be cool to vlog in eye mode. And I don't mean attaching a camera to your head. I mean like through your eyes <laughs> and the quality. Hey, look, the quality has gone off as you can see. I don't know if it's the focus or the lens. <laughs> How you doing Lucy? Probably has an actual name as well. <laughs> but they got friend Peter Lane there, so maybe they don't have a name all of them. How do you know which one is which as well? You can only tell the genders. Hmm? He's not that close. He was closer during the um sorry it's too dark. He was closer where at the start before he started moving. Because he was looking at you directly. He moved his head towards you. I say he, it's, it's a she, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Only the ladies, apart from the kids, like the male kids that still have antlers, but the females keep theirs. This is like the third one along. We were the first two people on there. There's a second ride today. We were the first two people. We waited for the third one because this guy had the best antlers. Mom was terrified, but is there as well. Oh my days. Mittens are not warm enough. Mittens are not warm enough. No, I don't want it to let them. No, so you, you left the mittens. That does the gloves. Yeah, the gloves are not warm enough. Uh, yeah, my fingers are starting to get cold. <laughs> Even yours? Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm using the hybrid, but I'm not going to mix them on top. Yeah, yeah. My fingers hurt, but my wrist and my hand is fine. Yeah, you're just wearing normal gloves. I told you to wear mittens, Mum. Yeah, There's more rain down the left. Can you see them? Can you see the rain down the left? No. Left, left. No. Is it? Yeah. Ah, it's over there. There's just so many of them here. I don't know if the camera's picking up on this. Oh, there's one running across. 
way to hide out here. 350 in this camp. There's a penny 200,000 in the wild of Norway. I don't know if it's just this area of Norway, but yeah. Apparently with a wild one, you don't get near 100 meters. There's one antler. Must have lost. Maybe it's a male. Imagine this with huskies. They're strong, man. Right? They've got a carousel kind of around every year. <laughs> Right there, in it, so maybe we are too much weight. <laughs> and there's one on the right that's sitting now, having a little picnic. Do you want to feed them? Why not? Or are you too scared? I'm not scared of them. Yeah, yeah you only are. The only thing is, I'm scared because I don't want to get upset. Upset, okay. Yeah. I don't want to upset them because. Is that when you feed them, you got to stand a distance and yeah, hold your hands up? Yes. Not 100 yards. 100 meters. Your arms aren't that long, mate. <laughs> but as far as you can uh, go, basically. Just to be safe. What's that? The full COVID rules? Maybe that is something. Uh, maybe. There's a camp back there. It's just one way around, I guess. I should have put these uh, mittens. Like it's a hybrid, so like. I'm wearing a glove underneath and this glove on top. But like the mitten is uh, a hybrid. You can do it fingerless or fully over your hand. <laughs> to be fair, like these gloves are touch green. They are merino wool as well. They should keep you warm, but they're touch green. The fit, two fingers are touch green, one I can't use. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. This is a reindeer podcast. <laughs> Don't worry, mum, no one understand that except Tamil people. <laughs> Tamil people watch this video, they don't understand. <laughs> Send to your relatives, you'll they'll hear what you said. Back soon. <laughs> See, now you just translated it for the English people. So now everyone knows what you said. <laughs> Hello, Tamil people. 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 But for a 10 minute ride approximately This is fun Like I don't really, I'm not bothered about going that fast <laughs> If it was huskies then yeah I'd want to go a bit faster But uh In terms of this <laughs> It's all good <laughs> Shame we can't fly eh? <laughs> I wouldn't want to anyway <laughs> With really seat belts Unforgettable. Again, like I said yesterday, just the one thing we're missing is a lot of nights. That's the one thing you're missing every single day. Everything we're doing so far, we're enjoying it, both of us. Just the one thing I'm missing is that aurora. <laughs> and if we don't see it, maybe one day I'll come back uh, somewhere else in the region, maybe Canada, Iceland, Sweden, there's options. But hopefully we can see it by tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Uh, reindeer. Almost coming up to 10 minutes now. 9 minutes 30. We're still going, what do you think? Good? Very really nice. Huh? You yeah. Enjoying yourself? Yeah, see, it's not that scary. Sure. He's not gonna do it, she's not gonna do anything. It's all good. Don't get up straight away, yeah, when we get done. Yeah. For safety reasons, I think. Almost there. Well, this is fun. Hopefully, they can take photos of us as well. And, uh, yeah. Video is done. Did I get wet? Nah, I feel a little bit, but it's not much. But it doesn't feel like a little bit. <laughs> Don't spook them. I think the feeding is down there. This is cool. There's food 8 to 9, it's not 8 o'clock yet. 9 o'clock we're doing some scene. 10 o'clock we're going back. The store started at 6 pm. Pretty good, I say. 
Pretty good. This would have been fun to do on Christmas. Unfortunately, work happened. <laughs> that's, that was the original plan. Christmas in Norway. So just basically, that's why I'm never wearing the hat. for the camera. Yeah, I think I got it. I can screenshot the video, it should be fine. Uh, that's cute. No antlers, so it's a bit safer. I want to feed that one. Uh, don't look, don't look, but there's one behind you that I want to feed. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Don't, don't panic, don't panic. I shouldn't panic even if one right behind me. Oh! <laughs> I should have fed first, mate. Well, I want this. Oh! Should I get in as well? <laughs> You're getting all of them. for a second. So the one we call Lucy will call um, Lucia, the Brazilian football player. <laughs> we'll just not name any old, we won't, we won't assume genders, not anymore. <laughs> I mentioned that, did I? Because I wasn't videoing, but at the end of taking photo of us, tour guide. One is biting my leg. <laughs> give, give it, oh, my ass now. <laughs> but she said like, it's actually a male. So it was a bit awkward calling it Lucy. <laughs> this one started trying to eat my leg and my ass. But like it felt very smooth. I don't know what that means. <laughs> How much food is in that bucket? It's like a Coke can, it never ends. <laughs> There's always a bit of drink left in. <laughs> oh, he just massaged my leg with his feet. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> he just kicked me, but it wasn't that hard. He probably just moved out of the way, actually. This one just kicked me. And he's, I don't know if he's or she now. To be honest, I'm, I'm confused. I want to, but I want you to video me, that's why. Give it, give it the video. Video on? Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Hold on.
Yeah. They try to eat my coat as well, you know that. Yeah. Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Enough, I have one. Yeah, okay, video. Come. Chocolate. There's like chocolate there, isn't it? Chocolate? Yeah. Chocolate? Oh, you want to go back into the hut? Yeah. There's cookies. There's a chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah. Alright, Mum, relax. We can get chocolate. <laughs> yeah, maybe they have chocolate in there. I'm more than satisfied. Like that alone was like the feeding and the sledding. That alone was worth the money. But they're giving us food on top. Yeah, boy. And snacks and drinks. Hot drinks mainly. This is awesome, man. I'll never forget this. <laughs> it's so cool how they round up at you and like some of them kick you and hit you. I got hit by the antlers a couple of times. It didn't actually hurt that much. But so I assume it's not that aggressive. <laughs> they just wanted food. It's funny when my my mum was doing the feeling, they would tap me already, like they wanted me to start going. They're like, it's your turn now. <laughs> very awkward calling one Lucy though, it's, it's a male. <laughs> that was very awkward. Apparently the um, the one that do the sledding, those specific ones, they can't have kids. So maybe that's why there's handlers on, there's handlers on males, maybe. Because handlers are related to mating. It's about mating season. After mating season, which is towards the end of the year, so maybe it's just because they can't mate. These ones can, I'm pretty sure, but those can't. But I'm still not going to assume everyone <laughs> with reindeer that is specifically. <laughs> uh, don't cancel me. Don't forget. Them. So those are the toilets for the day. Three great cubicles. Cubic cube. I can't even speak cubicles. Oh, I wish I could see the shape of your day go. Triangular. This is the long. 
somehow so it feels very viking doesn't it it reminds me of vikings the tv show and assassin's creed valhalla as well long house right here <laughs> ragnarok that's where the food is served that's where we were in earlier having a hot chocolate and cookies and the other triangle house at the back that's where i had the meeting for the briefing so uh, yeah we still got 20 minutes to eight o'clock so well, at least we'll be first to the food i guess <laughs> We're the only ones in the room who just came to get our bags. Three hundred reindeer, including the ones hiding down there. Yeah, we're getting yeah. Too. Yeah, that's I told you there's a lot of salmon in Norway. Uh -huh. Did you want it out? No. Is it good? Mm. Yeah. It's cool where you need something to drink. Then yeah. You go for a chocolate. That's exactly yeah. right. Because why you need to go for a pee? <laughs> I've got I've got a big Snickers bar in her bag and she, won't, it? she won't let me eat it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think I've had it two bars today. All the trips. They provide food mm. and we went to get one chips in the outside. Yeah. Mm. They just put the straws, no chips there. <laughs> All full of ketchup. Yeah. All my mid got ketchup. And my son said, uh, Why are you uh, spoiling sauce. my coat? Because yeah. I'm hungry, you know. That's the same. There's twice outside we've gone to the one where they do the hot dogs. Yeah. Mm. And it's all full of mustard and sauce yeah, and that, and you try not to get it on your gloves. Yeah. <laughs> and my wife called this one so messed up, he said, why you did that, you know, like a child. Because I'm hungry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we transferred through Paris, so it was one hour to Paris, then four hours to here from Paris. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. And he lost his uh, luggage. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you don't have any clothes. <laughs> Familiar story. Still, yeah. still same, you know. <laughs> they didn't come. Yeah. They went to Oslo. Ah. <laughs> through, through Dubai. Yeah. yeah. So we fly from Brisbane to Dubai. Yeah. yeah. So That's 14, 14 hours. hours. Mm. 14 hours. That's a long trip, that one. Mm. And then from Dubai to... Oslo. 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 That's seven. Mm. I should come to Australia one day, but I don't have money for that mm. now. So far away. We've been saving to, up. I have to save up. Mm. We had yeah, years. We saved up for a few years. Yeah. Mm. It is. It's a big. It's a big cost. Yeah. A bit cheaper to fly the biggest cost is the airfares. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Qu Qantas do a London to London to Perth flight. Yeah, direct. Yeah. Which yeah. I've done. Mm. I've done that. 17, oh, okay. 17 hours. Mm. So long. <laughs> I just. I love them Emirates jets. So I keep flying with Emirates. Yeah. They've been very good. But you know, if you do those big trips, you really gotta either pay extra to get extra leg room, yeah. or you know, have enough money to, to pay and get business or first class or business class, whatever yeah. they call it. Yeah. You want to hold it oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, I can see. That's great. <laughs> you just leave it on for a little bit. <laughs> oh, look, it's a lady here. Yeah, you should have said you had someone come in too. Yeah. So how was the dinner? It was a nice one. So nice with yeah. the chocolate. Great chocolate. salmon starter and the stew. Chocolate cake with blueberries. Oh, so good. So good. Nine for seven. Well, we at the supermarket already. It's a bit colder away from the fire. We got in late, so at the back. We got a blanket though. But it's more like, are you using your voice to make a melody? The melody usually describes what you're doing. Uh, and you don't think about something, you enjoy it. Uh, it can either be a person, a place, an animal, whatever you want. But the melody usually describes, um, let's say if it's a positive person, it's a very positive joy. Or if it's a very scary animal, it's a very scary and deep joy. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to enjoy a Tromsø's joy for you guys. Because the Tromsø Island also has a joy. Uh,
tune to the child. And when the child grows, the, children, uh, the parents will put in some words what the child is good at. Yep, uh, thank you. Uh, they will put in some words what the child is good at. So when the child is fully grown, he or she will have their own yoik. And they are not allowed to yoik their own yoik because that would be bragging. We don't do that. But the parents and the people who love them, they know the yoik of that child and they will sing it to the child to honor it or the grown person or to remind the person who they are at their best. And uh, we have many examples of that. There are not so many today that continue this, unfortunately, because modern world is like you're supposed to have like pop music and mm -hmm. have to follow a rhythm. But, um, and I'm not really allowed to yoink anyone who's not here either, because I will be pulling their energy and they can get a bit distracted. But when people are uh, passed to the other side, we can yoke them because they will be here anyhow. Um, and um, there are so many different uh, yokes that can tell the difference of people. Normally, the yokes are quite happy uh, because we always want to have the good, good side of people. I know about only one sad yoke, a person yoke, and that's Orbina. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is this story a hundred years ago there was a baby found on the doorstep of strangers and they took in the baby but everybody was very poor at that time so the child was sent from house to house when it grew up and had quite a, a poor beginning of the life didn't have any real parents Orbin means, uh, Orbin means the one who has no parents and this is the only sad joy I know I think the man grew up being quite happy uh, later but yeah, so this is a, a little more um, sad yoy, if I can yoy that. <coughs> <laughs> storms like this, they can be predators, reindeers can run away like they did before you come, and it can be very long often when you're up alone in the mountains. <coughs> Hey, oh, 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 hey,
Well, that was a good cultural experience. There's a lot of history I learned as well. That I'll talk a bit more about Arisa Nostan, actually. But yeah, learn a bit about Sami culture across four countries and many years. And also Aboriginal culture in Australia last year, so. Thank you. I was saying bye and I forgot. I, my mind went blank. I was going to say Oregito. <laughs> I might have forgotten the word. That, that was the younger girl that was uh, saying out here. But yeah getting cultured on different holidays. This time it's European culture. Who knows what it could be next. Mom's already gone, I'm trying to get a seat on the bus. I'll be alright mom. <laughs> She's usually the first one actually. And I'm like fifth, so I'm not too slow. <laughs> mom is cold. Very cold. Especially your feet, right? Yeah. It's freezing. Did you have a good time? Very good time. You enjoyed yourself, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so mom had a good time but she's had a bit of a stressful last uh, last hour or so <laughs> uh, we'll go this way uh, basically um, so we we're in we we're in the food area and my, my mom selected me because they, they gave they sent us a itinerary for food and they said like pick from options it was mostly like meat or vegetarian or vegan fish vegetarian vegan and today was reindeer stew or the vegetarian alternative she picked vegetarian which she was fine with but um i sat with uh, three australians had a good talk about a lot of things uh she asked me if he was an afl fan but he said rugby union so not afl not even rugby league that's interesting for an australian um but yeah uh we were talking to them and then the guy, the tour guide came along, he said, uh, not the tour guide, but the guy that was cooking, um, he, he asked our, our table, like, is it all meat here? And mum mom didn't say, I'm a vegetarian. So she also had the reindeer stew. She didn't like the food. Uh, and then we went to the part where they're singing and she enjoyed the songs. Uh, she enjoyed the talk and everything, but it was, her feet were cold. My feet were cold as well, but her feet was freezing. She was shivering just because of her feet. She was warm everywhere else. Just her feet are very cold. <laughs> she, she was shimmering a little bit. We got to the coach. Almost the entire coach journey, her feet were cold. So she was just really frustrated about that. She was just like, because the coach stopped once to drop, drop one of the tour guides off at their house. And she was complaining like, why are we stopping here? Why are we stopping here? Just panicking. We're not stopping there, mom. We're just dropping this guy off. <laughs> Calm down. We'll be okay. But you still enjoyed the reindeer sledding. You enjoyed yeah, the songs. Like the food, it's, just, like the yeah, it's just that she didn't like the food. She loved the cake and the salmon, yeah. um, and the activities are good. It's just that it's the food and also her feet were cold. That's the only thing. Yeah. Um, but we're out of there now. It's less windy. We're okay. <laughs> we're, we're okay, mum, aren't we? <laughs> but yeah, we uh, we had fun today, and uh, it's certainly something we'll never forget. So. Yeah, we learned a lot about their culture, of course. Um, that singing they did is called Joik, J-O-I-K. Uh, apparently someone on Sweden's Got Talent uh, did Joik, and people don't know what it was, and because it's like a forgotten culture uh, in Scandinavia, and uh, they actually won the whole, whole competition because young people found out what it was, and it became a big thing in Scandinavia. So, uh, as it was before, apparently they're History traces back 9,000 years, but people don't, don't know about it. There's carvings of them from 9,000 years ago, which is very interesting. Um, there's history about uh, World War II, um, 
all of their homes, everything got burnt down by the Germans when they were escaping the Russians. The Russians were chasing them out, uh, obviously, when the, when the tide of the war started changing. So the Germans burnt their, uh, burnt the homes down in northern Norway to stop the Russians from following them. So uh, they had to rebuild. We learned all about the Sami family. There's a common misconception that they all live in tents, but it's actually not true. They all live in tents. Um, what else was it? They have nine languages. So there's different cultures, different beliefs, different tribes. So the clothes they wear and the emblems they have signify what their tribe is and who they are specifically. So they can identify themselves. They also have something that identifies if they're married or not, um, which is interesting. They can marry who they want. They can stay within tribe within other tribes or marry just anyone that's not part of their tribes it's fine they can marry anyone so many they can't wear the clothes or garments of other tribes unless they marry if they can marry to another tribe and they, then they can start wearing it until then you can't it's sacred um, and i guess they can wear more normal clothes more often if they marry someone outside outside it completely um they're spread across four countries um i think she said norway sweden finland russia or at least three of those it might be denmark as well she said four, Canada, but she did mention Denmark. Did she mentioned Canada, yeah. but yeah, about some history as well. But she mentioned four main countries. She mentions like six, seven countries, but four main ones. Russia, Finland, Norway, definitely three of them. And then Sweden or Denmark, one of the two. <laughs> Orugito means uh, means thank you. Or Orugito, can you say it? Orugito. She's very, she's a lot colder now, mum. We're getting home. We are going home. I'm not slowing you down. We're still walking normal pace. Uh, Orugito. This is the first time she's walking faster than me. First time. <laughs> Normally she's a lot slower. Um, it's so, it reminds me of origato in Japanese actually. It's quite interesting. The younger girl that was singing, where she's from is further up north into the Arctic Circle. Where she's from is minus 49 degrees. So she grew up used to minus 49 degrees. <laughs> so this is warm compared to that because it's like it's like minus five at the worst at the moment. Also, they're kind of outcasted, the Sami family as a whole, because uh, um, they have this spiritual thing and uh, the, the Catholics who were in charge didn't really like it. Denmark ruled Norway for like 400 years or something. So they were like outcasted and, you know, they were witch hunts and stuff. It's gotten better now over time, but the older woman said she's walked through town in Tromsø even a few years ago. She got made fun of and other things. Um, not as bad as the proper past but it was still pretty bad basically like you know this is an oppression so and all because of what she was wearing like they wouldn't know who she, she who she was if she wore, wore normal civilian clothes because she wore her tribe's clothes in town in Tromsø a few years ago she got discriminated upon so I thought that was quite interesting um I didn't know anything about this side of the world so and it's snowing a lot right now into our eyes we're turning left soon don't worry I don't know that much about that side of the, this side of the world so I'm just like wow there's a whole new culture and tribe that I'm learning about I'm just like Ew. not even tribe just lots of tribes nine languages I mentioned more than nine tribes I don't know how many tribes you mentioned a lot more than languages uh, turn left mom turn left but wait for the car <laughs> and yeah they, they spoke about um, reindeers details about that is a question Q&A sort of thing two people, people ask questions and they answered they answered very well very thoroughly in different things and also about building Viking boats. Um, the older woman's tribe specifically, they built some proper Viking boats. So I thought that was interesting. They were good at building strong boats. Their tribe even went whale hunting in the past. Um, they used they used boats that are smaller than the whales, and they still managed to catch them. Like the, the, the boats are that skilled, that sturdy, and that strong. So I thought that was quite intriguing. I think I covered everything. I remember everything I've written down as well. I checked my phone on my notes. Well, yeah, interesting to learn about history. I wasn't expecting to learn that because I didn't even know it existed. Like I heard about the Sami camp and everything when booking this tour. But that's about it. I booked it to, to, to sled reindeer. <laughs> I did not expect a history lesson, but I'm glad I got it. I'm just like, that's very interesting. Very interesting part of a very different world. I didn't know who they were until today. Now I'm just like, okay, that is very interesting. I liked hearing about that. I just wish I had said Origito to that girl who was saying bye to me. I'm just like, I just watched her sing. I have a lot of respect for her and her tribe and everything. And I forgot the word, the one simple word she taught me, I forgot. Unbelievable. I'm stressing, she's so cold. But I mean, she didn't teach me specifically, obviously, but she was singing to everyone, teaching everyone. Both of the women, they taught us this word. And the second word as well, but thank you. And I forgot them both. And I had, all I had to say was one, to say goodbye. 
Anyway, this is your boy David off Things Like Share. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. I've got to stay quiet. I'm in the hotel rooms. Goodbye.